Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this is a project that I was making for one week, and now it's finally complete. So it's a drawing pad, basically, and so I embedded it in uh, Notion, and like I have this fascination with Notion embeds, and that is the reason why I started making this. Uh, but then it became a project of its own. All right. So first of all, let me show you how this works. So this is like a normal drawing pad. You can draw stuff on it, and it works slightly differently on mobile and on uh, desktop. But it works good. Okay, it works good on mobile as well. So you can try it in your uh, phone too, and let me know what you think. All right. So you can draw stuff on it, like you know any drawing pad. You can. Uh, do all of these things you can um, you know clear this page then maybe you can uh, undo some stuff right that works redo it you can save a page go to the next page do some more stuff save that go to the next page do some more stuff save this page when you go to the last page it shows you what you did on the last stuff and so on so like you can switch between pages and then you have these options. So there's an eraser tool, or I would say eraser mode, where everything that you do with draw, you are doing the same thing except that now it's uh, clearing instead of filling things. So you do this, and it clears stuff. All right. And then you have this fill mode. So uh, there are two modes: draw and fill. Um, draw mode uh, draws, of course, like it draws and fill mode it creates rectangles so for now we only have rectangles because I did this in one week I'm a little short on time <laughs> yeah um, and so this fills rectangles but if you put eraser mode on then this rectangle will actually clear stuff so you can clear stuff like that as well okay so so far so good it doesn't feel like there's anything um, you know special about this drawing pad it's just like every drawing pad right well no you have this thing as well so you have this how would i say this text editor kind of thing so basically it's a text area and this is another thing so it's a label and whatever i put in there i can uh, evaluate it as javascript so i've made a function con called a uh, print which prints stuff in our label so if i print you know hello world then it okay and I, and I will run this then it does this thing hello world right if I print resize which is a function that I made uh, so I'll say resize and let's say 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is uh, how much percentage of width do you want this thing to be so if I run that it resizes to 0 0.2 and the previous thing was 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 run that this is this thing all right that's good and all very basic functionality the big thing is you have programmatic drawing abilities over here so you could do something like this point um, in fact before this let me show you another nice thing it can do um, so first of all we can do a slideshow so show and when I run this it will show us everything with 500 milliseconds of uh, gap right so now you know everything that is uh, on all these slides, right? So let me just go to the last slide. This was what's on the last slide. Um, and let's see that correctly. Yeah. Right. So show uh, gives you a slideshow. What if you want to export whatever you have on this drawing pad into some other format? Well, you can export it in PDF format. Right now, that's the only thing you can export it in. But eventually, I guess. I mean someone will put something into it because I'm not gonna work on it anymore this is it I spent a whole week on it so yeah uh, it's on github right so it's on github hopefully people who are interested will work on it anyway so uh, PDF type that run that and it uh, gives you a PDF so in this particular case you are not seeing a PDF because you can't download that but when, it, when you run this in a browser, they should actually give you a PDF, so I can do that. Um, so I can just actually run this in the browser. Alright. Let me draw something. Let's go save next. Let's 
me we draw something more save next we draw something more save and then I'll just say PDF and then I'll uh, run that and it gives you a PDF so something like that right okay cool so yeah you can do all kinds of stuff with it let me show you another cool thing so first of all I'm going, gonna go to the next page okay uh, let's plot something so first of all let's just say let's make an array so x is um, an empty array y is an empty array and we'll say that for variable i equal to 0 so we'll start at 0 we will do this uh, till 100 and we'll just increment this right what I want to do is x dot push uh, let's say i and I, and y dot push um, i squared or something like that I don't know so I'm just gonna push i squared right cool um, so now you have these x y arrays let's make a data uh, object so data is this object which contains x and y uh, so it's x comma y comma is this short notation don't worry if you're not a programmer you will eventually get okay with it you could always write as x x right so something like this so this x represents this array that will be formed and this x is just a variable name so don't worry i mean it's it's okay right it's simple enough so you create this data object thing and then you can just plot that so I'll just say plot data right okay and uh, oh also so like this is actually gonna plot this for the whole screen uh, say you want to plot this at a particular point in fact let me just show you this first so this runs and I guess it plotted at okay not push so yeah okay it did plot it although it looks really bad that's because we didn't set the x limit and stuff so first what we'll do is actually before plotting that we'll clear everything so uh, we'll run the clear function now let's set the x limit so x limit y limits are the range in which your x uh, your x line will be and that will be used to make the fi to basically scale the figure so that it looks good so we'll say x limit equal to 0 to so it's only going to be 100 so we'll make it 100 y limit is equal to 0 to 100 square it doesn't have to be the maximum values minimum values I'm just putting it like that you could put any kind of arbitrary number if you don't believe me I'm gonna put 200 actually or you know let's let's put negative 100 over there Right, you can put anything you want right it's no big deal okay um, also you have to tell it just wait a second sorry <laughs> interruption uh, right what was I doing yeah you have to tell it um, where do you want your origin to be right so yeah that is kind of weird so uh, instead of saying origin I would say the um, how do I say this the bottom left corner yeah the bottom left corner where is that going to be you can tell it that and I'm actually not gonna do that so I'll just do this thing I'll clear then I'll plot let's run and now it uh, plots like that so um, let's instead of negative 100 make it 0 and let's run that right ok let's and it does this weird thing that's not supposed to happen ok so our x limit is now huh, that's kind of weird and if I run this then it's over here for some reason I don't know why this is happening why is y limit like that but anyway the main thing is you can plot stuff uh, using this drawing pad 
so it's not just a drawing pad but it's also something where you can plot so you can you know plot and then you can uh, uh, kind of like paint on it basically and over here the line width is a bit too much so I'll change it I guess or whatever this is good I guess oh I guess I should actually make it a bit bigger or something no so yeah this actually uh, rescales every single time right looks good to me over here I guess the zero point was somewhere over there or maybe oh okay I think I get so it's from negative 100 to 100 right so it started at this point and then it like went went up uh, very fast that's why this happened yeah now I kind of get it cool okay uh, so this is my github repository where you will find this drawing pad right uh, in the readme file itself I have given a link to it then here's the HTML for this drawing pad and it's the and here's the javascript there is nothing else in the github repository except the readme file so this was written completely using javascript and uh, the js pdf thing so it doesn't have all those dependencies so if you see the html uh, yeah okay there's a script somewhere right so this is this one dependency for exporting pdfs other than that it's completely pure javascript so that's nice i guess right and yeah, that's it so i'll see you guys in the next video